In this video, we're going to be looking at the skill or skills addition or subtraction of mixed numbers with the same denominator. We're going to look at two examples together, an addition example and a subtraction example. One thing you want to note is that they do want your answer in simplest form. So when you get to your answer, if it's possible to reduce, make sure you remember to do that. A second thing, since they can ask you addition or subtraction questions, make sure that you look at the operation carefully. If they're asking you to add, make sure you add. If they're asking you to subtract, make sure you subtract. So when you add and subtract fractions or mixed numbers, you have to have a common denominator. And in this case, you already have a common denominator, 5. So we're going to keep that common denominator, 5, and we're going to add whole numbers and add fractions. So if you're going to do it in the format they have it set up, you're going to add your whole numbers. 2 and 6 is 8 whole units. And then your 2 fifths plus 2 fifths, you're going to keep your denominator, fifths. And you're going to add your numerators. 2 plus 2 is 4. So 8 and 4 fifths is our answer. 4 fifths cannot be reduced. It's already in simplest form. So 8 and 4 fifths is our answer. Off to the side, I want to show you another way to approach this problem. In the past, you may have seen your mixed numbers written on top of one another so that you have your whole numbers lined up, the 2 and the 6. And then you have your fractions lined up, the 2 fifths and the 2 fifths. You would still approach the problem in a similar fashion. 2 fifths plus 2 fifths is 4 fifths. And then 2 plus 6 for your whole numbers is 8. So we still end up with the same answer, 8 and 4 fifths. Looking at our second example, remembering to subtract 2 and 6 elevenths minus 1 and 5 elevenths. So subtracting our whole numbers, 2 minus 1 is 1. Common denominator, we're going to keep the 11. And then subtracting the numerators, 6 minus 5 is 1. So our answer here is 1 and 1 eleventh. Hope this helps you with your skill. Go ahead and give it a try on your own or ask your teacher if you have additional questions. Thank you.